Hi folks, uh, Ruri at Clodden Painting Studio here. Um, in front of me I've got a big bunch of Napoleonic French uh, Fusiliers. They've had all their base colours applied. Um, and what we're going to look at in this video um, is the use of uh, Iron Painter Quickshade Dark Tone uh, Dip in inverted commas. Uh, I'm not going to use the dip method. I think that's too messy and too wasteful. I'm going to use a brush on method, but we're going to have a look at how we can still uh, control um, the flow of the quick shade so that we're not staining the surfaces too much and really just getting a, a, a shading effect in the recesses. Um, and it's a really quick way for uh, finishing off um, an army. And although there is a, a wait time after you've applied the quick shade um, for it to fully dry um, and then apply a matte coat, as long as you're not wanting to get your models on the table that afternoon, um, if you're like me, you paint things with games months in advance, um, taking a few days to wait for this stuff to dry is well worth it. And as I believe, um, there's less need for um, correcting and brightening up um, your base colours than with um, a bottle of um, dark tone wash or null oil from Games Workshop. Um, we'll have a look in a few steps. Right, so what tools have we got? So in addition to the quick shade, um, I have some white spirit. Um, you can use terps or um, any other uh, suitable paint thinner, uh, not water. Um, I have a battered old um, brush we're going to use for um, applying the quick shade. Um, also got some kitchen towel um, for mopping up any spills. Um, I also have this little thing uh, called a micro brush. Um, you can get these um, from makeup supply companies. Um, and we're going to use this to sort of mop up excess that we don't want pulling on the, the model. Um, after you get your tin open, um, I've used a back edge of a spoon to prise the lid. Um, we're going to need to stir this. Um, so I've got the handle of a, another old brush. I'm just going to stir this. If you've not used your quick shade in a while, it will probably feel quite sticky and lumpy. Um, I use mine uh, quite regularly, so it's fairly free flowing, but I'm still going to wash. Uh, st still going to stir this up. Got a lot of excess on the end of the old brush here. Just use my paper towel to clean that off. Okay, uh, so my brush has been sitting um, in a bit of the white spirit. Um, we'll dab off most of that there. Having a little bit of um, thinners um, in the bristles of your brush means that this stuff will uh, just flow a little easier, both in terms of application, um, but also the uh, cleanup. Um, a removal of excess that you might want to do. Okay, so we've got some on the end of the brush. Um, what I simply do to begin with is just a splodge on the front of each figure and at the back. Yeah, we might need some more, um, but that's a, a good place to begin with. Um, and then we're just going to spread this around a bit. It never looks great when it first goes on. Okay, so done the application there. <clears throat> uh, with my makeup micro brush, which I have dipped in a little bit of the, the white spirit, um, we're going to run this over areas where we've got any excess pooling to draw it off and wipe it down on the paper towel. Um, but also because this takes a, a wee while to set, we've got some working time now. Um, and by removing it from areas such as the front of the leg here, 
we're just going to be able to do a little bit of highlighting without having to come back for um, coming back with the acrylic paints we did the original shade with. Um, this technique um, is used by um, people who use enamel and oil washes. When um, you think about it, the quick shade, you know, it's a similar sort of project uh, product. It's not water based, and this just means <clears throat> that we don't have to spend lots of time. Once this is dried, highlighting things back up. We're right back the model, much the same. Let's just take it off the turnbacks. And you know, I think I'm happy with that. So, tin says at least 24 hours uh, to dry. Um, I would always go for 48 um, and longer if you can. It will feel tacky, um, essentially, until it's fully set. Um, and once it stops feeling tacky, um, that's when we'll come back with um, a bit of matte varnish to knock any shine off. So I've got uh, another 30 odd models to, to do this to. And we'll be back in a few days. Okay, we are back a few days later. Um, the dip wash has had um, a few days to set um, and my French uh, Napoleonic figures are looking pretty shiny. Um, so we need to apply a uh, matte varnish to take the shine off. Um, I've got Army Painters um, Hand Shine Matte Varnish. Um, I've just got the stuff in the bottle that I'm going to apply with a brush um, because I live in the Highlands of Scotland. It's December. Um, and the weather's not right for going outside with um, a can of spray varnish. Um, nothing technical to this. I have a cheap brush and I am just going to apply this matte varnish. Um, it is an acrylic matte varnish so you can wash with water. Um, unlike the um, quick shade dip which required the white spirit. Um, 34 of these guys to do. We'll get them all done and have a look once this is dry. And here they are, um, having had matte varnish applied um, and basing materials. The officer and sergeant in front have had some additional highlights done um, with some acrylic paints, um, but the fusiliers in the back um, have just been uh, varnished only. Uh, so the effect, you can see the base colours um, and then washed with the quick shade dip um, means that you get a really quick um, and easy shading effect. Um, it flows into the recesses um, a lot easier, I find, than acrylic uh, washes out of a bottle. And then by having a brush, micro brush or cloth to hand with a bit of white spirit, <coughs> with that um, brush you can clean away a bit of the quick shade from raised surfaces. And you're basically getting a highlight without having to go back to the model later with a, a paintbrush. Um, I like the, the quick shade and hopefully um, this use, video is useful for people that have been thinking um, of using it um, but have been worried um, about taking the leap. If you've got any comments um, or suggestions please leave them in the comments below. Bye for now.